friends, welcome back. Today I'm sharing another Play-Doh kit. I know some of you really like these videos. I know I like uh, Play-Doh kits, so I love sharing them with you guys and what I come up with. So this one is fall inspired. I went to the Dollar Tree and I picked up a couple things and then I already had some of these things and I figured I would share a fall sensory bin as well. So the first thing I'm going to add to this Play-Doh kit are of course these. Um, I shared these in my last one, my farming one, which I will link in the iCards. Hannah will link a playlist of like all the sensory uh, Play-Doh kits and sensory bins I've done, but I am just going to stick these uh, cookie cutters in the middle here. I pretty much always put these ones in unless I have themed ones, which I didn't uh, think to look for a themed cookie cutter, but I didn't see any jumping out at me over in the Dollar Tree. So maybe they just didn't have any, I don't know. Um, or I totally missed them. But anyways, these ones are cool because they are scalloped and they have this also just a normal circle edge. Um, so they can do very so many things with just this little cookie uh, cutter set here. So I love to add this one because uh, they love it so much. They make it into a mountain and all of that. If you see my last Play-Doh kit, then you know. So the next thing I'm going to do is I bought, I already cut them up, some of them. I bought some of these sunflowers. Uh, so I got the, this color. I got orange and then I got just plain yellow and I am going to just add two of each of these right onto one of these sides here. Then um, I did pick some pine cones. Okay. I went outside and I got some pine cones and you could also add acorns as well. My oak tree is not like light. I don't have any acorns at the moment. I don't even know when they come, I forget. But I found some pine cones, so that would be a great addition. Also, last year I found these fabric leaves at the Dollar Tree. I feel like it. I found them when, um, like by the wreath making section, mostly in the front when they had like all the reef stuff or you could probably look um, towards the craft area as well, but they had all these. I don't know if they had them this year, I didn't see, but I'm using these um, and I'm gonna add just a couple of them uh, just to add different textures in here. So we got some fabric leaves, pine cones, uh, some floral, and then uh, I found some and you could totally do this like halloween stuff too like they had all that kind of stuff there we personally don't celebrate halloween so but i did find these spiders and i thought these would be great my kids would just love to play with them they are just i guess spider decorations and they're glitter so we have some orange ones that i got that i'm going to add in this is kind of like what they look like so and then I got some purple ones. So it comes with six of them for a dollar. So I got the spiders. And then the last thing that I'm adding to this Play-Doh kit is, you guys, I was super excited to find these, okay? These are actually Harvest Decor. And uh, they are these little pumpkins. They're like acrylic pumpkins. I guess they're acrylic, I don't know. I'm guessing they're like an acrylic uh, material, but they're these little pumpkins and they come in yellow. Look at how cute these are. I was like so happy when I found these, um, but they come in yellow, this brown color and then orange. So I grabbed a whole bunch of these because I'm like, yo, my kids will probably fight over these. So I grabbed a whole bunch of them to stick in here and everything is falling apart here. But not only did they have pumpkins, but they also had acorns. So I bought a pack of acorns too. I actually bought three of each. <laughs> you guys, do I have a problem? Probably. Uh, so here's the little acorns. Aren't these cute, you guys? Oh my goodness. So that is the Play-Doh kit I just threw together super fast. Really inexpensive. I spent $11 on this because I already had some of the stuff. I found the 
pine cones outside. You could probably find acorns outside maybe um, if they're falling off of trees yet uh, where you live. But how cute is this, you guys? My kids are gonna have so much fun with this. I know they are. They're gonna love these spiders. They're gonna love these acorns and these little pumpkins. And then I might even add some pet people in here as well because my kids love pet people. And then maybe they would even like make a little uh, like pumpkin patch with these pumpkins. I mean, the possibilities are endless, as I always say. Okay, so now that I shared the Play-Doh kit, uh, we're gonna go on to the sensory bin, okay? So, I have shared with you guys uh, in my last sensory, I don't know if it came out yet, but I've shared with you guys before that I like to do messy sensory uh, play in the Dollar Tree dish tubs. So if you do not have an Ikea table, which is, this is what this goes to an Ikea table, you can always buy the Dollar Tree dish pans or if you didn't or if you have an ikea by you and you don't want to buy the table it's it's i paid 50 bucks for the table and then these are three dollars a piece and then of course you would have to buy like a chair um or they could stand up and play with it but these are only three dollars a piece and they are bigger than the dollar tree ones i think the dollar tree ones are like half the size uh but they also make these half they make um if that makes sense they make them in the half of this half the size of this is what i'm trying to say so i'm going to put together a fall sensory bin and i have made one with rice uh so it was like different color rice so i made like yellow orange and red rice and i put it together and it's really pretty i'm not doing the rice because I shared the last rice one with you and you guys even though my kids really love the rice sometimes I'm like sometimes I'm like I need a break from the rice because I'm sick of vacuuming it up okay but I do let them play with the rice because it is fun and you're only a kid one so a little mess ain't gonna hurt anybody so I actually already have a bag made that I made last year and what I did I'm just gonna dump it in this and all that's in this is noodles. And noodles are less messy. And I colored them. Of course, you don't have to color them, but I did like a light orange color, a darker orange, and then yellow. And then look at how beautiful this looks, you guys. Fall. <laughs> they only had fall in Florida. But they don't. So I think I'm gonna also add a couple fabric flowers in here as well, but I have these felt leaves that I found last year. I have some fabric uh, leaves in here and I have a pine cone in here and I'll probably try and go find a couple more pine cones to throw in here as well. Okay, you guys, so for the next one, I just dumped the rest of these little acorns and the pumpkins in here. Of course, you need to know your child and make sure that they're not gonna choke on this stuff. My kids do not put in things in their mouth. Even my two-year-old, praise the Lord, she's really good about not putting things in her mouth. So I trust them and I trust this to be out and then be fine. So I'm also gonna add some pinto beans that I have left over from another sensory bin. So they can like play like that. They can make a pumpkin patch or whatever. I also found these little jars at the Dollar Tree. Oh my gosh, aren't these cute? I'm probably gonna go back and buy a couple more. But they have different um, tops and they're plastic, okay? Which these, you guys, you could use these for so many uh, ideas. That's I bought four of them, but I'm probably gonna go back and buy more because I feel like I don't really see uh, plastic little jars there like this, unless it's around like Christmas time and stuff. So I'm just gonna go back and stock up. Anyway, I love this like buffalo check. <laughs> this is cute. This is fall all the way, you guys. But you could totally like add one of these jars in there so that they can scoop and pour, or they can use it as like a little flower pot in here. Is it, That would be cute, make a little flower arrangement. Um, so I'm probably gonna put the jar in here and let them scoop uh, because this is so cute and who knows what they'll do with it. 
Uh, so those are the two sensory bins. I mean, this one's pretty much, I mean, nothing, right? Just a couple acorns, pumpkins, pinto beans. Th this would cost you probably $4 because I think I have maybe, I don't know, maybe $5 because I think I might have like three bags of pinto beans in here. Uh, but then also we have this one with the flowers and everything. And yeah, so those are the two sensory bins. If you guys like all of the sensory bin and Play-Doh kit ideas, then, um, and you usually go out and find all these things and play and, you know, get build them for your kids, then I highly, highly, highly recommend that because, you know, these items are only gonna be here. They're only seasonal items. So I highly recommend that you pick up both of these items, okay? Because I have a great plan for these, okay? A great plan, and I'm so excited. And then I just came up with another one, so I'm gonna have to go back to Dollar Tree and buy a couple more things, because I just thought of something else. So these ones are like these foam, um, they're like glittery foam bones, okay? And then they have these hard plastic bones as well. And then at the Dollar Tree, also pick up, they have these like little skeleton decors. You like hang them on, I don't know, people hang them on trees or something, but they came in a three pack and I was gonna actually get them because my son wanted them. <laughs> because he's obsessed with the human body. So he like likes skeletons. And so I was gonna get him that. Uh, and then he decided he didn't want that, but I'm gonna go back and buy it because you guys have just came up with the best idea ever. Um, and you're just gonna have to wait. And maybe you already know what that idea might be. But um, yeah, pick those up too. If you guys like to recreate these, uh, then that's great. If you guys recreate these and you're on Instagram, like share them in your stories and tag me in it. I would love to, you know, share them on my stories. And I just wanna see other things that maybe you guys got inspired by my videos and maybe you added some other things into yours. Please share them and tag me on Instagram because I would totally love to see all the great creative things that you guys get. Um, cause I like to get ideas off other people too and get like, it just, you know, gets our creative juices flowing. If you guys like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you guys like videos like this, then make sure that you're subscribed and I will see you guys in the next video. All right guys, have a blessed day.